in Waitiki, where thousands and thousands of Kenyans were there, in a piece of land, of course, which belonged to somebody, we decided, as a government, to spend lots and lots of money to compensate, to compensate the owner and eventually get that land, the people own that land. You remember, we spent a lot of money, one over 1.2 billion shillings, to be able to acquire that land for this too, so that we can settle those people. And I'm happy they have done it. I say that alone, I think over 65% of the title deeds have been, have been collected, which is very good. And I want to encourage others to go there and collect them. Don't listen to politicians, particularly this time. I want to appeal to our politicians not, not to use land as a bargaining chip so that people can elect them. We must elect people because they are good. We must not elect people who can't even read the budget. How do you elect people who have D minuses? How do you elect people who have E's, A, eh, as we say in Kemero? Those people, if you give them a county budget, if you give them a national budget, they failed in Kiswahili, they failed in English, they failed in everything. Tell me what will happen to them. Are we together? Let us not elect people and uh, just because somebody's your brother, somebody's your sister, your former classmates. No, you should elect them on the basis of quality. And quality is, is respecting a limu njameni. That's why we are saying as a government education shall be free from pre-unit up to form four. And mark my lips. Watch this space, that's a fact.